FDCs are easier to earn. One. Why is FDC considered a softer stable token? Softer because it is easier to earn than other stable tokens. 2. Why is FDC considered a stable token? Stable because the volunteer redeemers agree to accept it for their merchandise and services at the same rate as their US dollar prices. 3. Is FDC an investment? Will it go up in value over time? No, it is not an investment. It is not intended to go up in value over time. It is simply a utility token that is good for purchasing anything in the FDC virtual warehouse or at FDC.com. Consider it similar to a digital gift card. 4. What is the FDC virtual warehouse? It consists of all the merchandise, vehicles, real estate and professional services being offered for sale in exchange for FDC tokens by all the volunteers, evangelists, and FDC token holders. 5. How can I become an official volunteer redeemer? Simply start offering some of your own merchandise, vehicles, real estate, gift certificates or services to the public in exchange for FDC tokens at the same rate as your US dollar prices. 6. How can I advertise that I have chosen to accept FDC tokens? Include the keyword FTC or hash FTC at the end of the subject line. And in the main text in all your online advertising and social media postings. Also enter your information at FDC.com. 7. If the FDC token is not intended to go up in value over time, how can I profit from it? By making a profit on whatever you are offering in exchange for the FDC tokens. Buy wholesale and sell retail at a profit, or perform services to earn some FDC tokens. 8. What does an FDC evangelist do, and how can I become one? You are automatically considered an FDC evangelist if you promote and discuss the virtues of FDC and teach how to get set up the MetaMask or similar ERC20 wallet. 9. Who owns FDC? No one person owns FDC. It consists of all FDC holders, volunteer redeemers and unpaid evangelists like you who are cooperating on a decentralized basis to give value to FDC tokens. Similar to considering them to be like gift cards or gift certificates. 10. Where does the F go that is paid to the original Ethereum address in order for FTC tokens to be issued in the first place? It is used by the volunteer committees of redeemers and evangelists. To obtain more merchandise, pledges and services which are then offered for sale to any FTC holders in exchange for FTC tokens. It is used to help make FTC easier to redeem. 11. Can I sell my FTC back to a volunteer committee or redeemer to get FTC? No because the F is all spent or pledged in order to build up available items and the availability of services and merchandise in their virtual warehouse. FTC is intended to be spent and also earned by you and by all the other volunteer participants. 12. How is the market cap of 900 billion chosen? It allows for an average of about $100 worth of FTC for each person on Earth. We hope you choose to participate. The FTC token holders themselves can each introduce wholesale suppliers, motels, hotels, restaurants, advertising companies, dentists. FTC is the way to be ready for the future. Learn and use it now, so that you always have another alternate way to do business, in case your bank or the government restricts you. FDC is the people's money.
it is transferred without any bank or government involved. FDC Evangelist, serving on the Committee of Volunteers for Redeeming and Evangelizing the Decentralized FDC Stable Tokens. What good is crypto if it is harder to earn than fiat currency? FDC is considered softer because it is easier to earn. You will need to get a free wallet at or in your app store or play store. In order to buy $100 worth of ETH to get your account started to cover the tiny transaction fees, average 15 cents per transaction, 